Hi, hi, hi. The same great river and other city, Samara. This year, the city celebrates its team returning to the Russian Premier League. Also here you'll find mm, a lot of cancers, the unusual World Cup, a Russian Superman and a great aspiration for heights. Let's see it, come on. Samara city stays on the Volga river 600 kilometers south from Nizhny Novgorod. A settlement with a port appeared here sometime in the AD, but the official city history begins in the 1586, when an expedition founded here a wooden fortress. The goal was defending the territory of Rus from nomads. At the same time, this gave a brilliant opportunity to enlighten the trade route to Byzantium, the main train partner. Soviet time, the city was called, mm, try to pronounce it, Kuybyshev, after a political activist. Mm, a long story, google it. This summer, the city hosts the World Cup. Let's check out what will we find here in June. Have you read or watched Harry Potter? Coming to Samara. Be ready to pronounce strange words sounding like spells. For example, the airport here is called Kurumoch. Here it is. The Terminus railway station here has no special name, but it excels differently. It is the highest in Europe. Its spire reaches 101 meters height. It seems like the city is fond of different heights. What's about football? This year two joyful events happened here. First of all, the team Krylia Sovetov finally returned to the highest Russian league. The second one you can see. New Samara Arena was built this spring. Try to guess the unofficial name of it. Yes, you're right. It is Cosmos Arena. Remember all those sci-fi movies. Here is one of the central streets, Leningradskaya. There is a monument to the Russian superman. He is called Dyadya Stepa, Uncle Stepan. He is a philanthrope. He saves sinking kids, beware them that smoking can harm, and explains all the children how should they behave. For example, that they have to cross the road only when the crossing lights are green. By the way, he is a giant. Monument represents it. This street is pedestrian, like some Paris boulevards. There are fountains and musicians. Not everyone must be a maestro, don't judge. Let's play a game. Use your imagination. What will you get if you take rye bread, beef cutlets, feta cheese, olives, onions in balsamic caramel, oregano, tomato, pickled cucumber, lettuce leaves, and spice it all with salsa and BBQ sauces. You'd never guessed. It is Mundial, and it costs near $5. You can find this burger in the bar Krilla Sporter, Wings of Sport, at Michurna Street 15. Also, they'll find different kinds of beer, variety of snacks, football broadcasts and burgers with other fancy names. One of them is called Garchishnik. Mm, didn't you know that yellow card in Russian is also called Garchishnik? That means cynicism. Another adventure for the guests in Samara is an Irish bar Harrods. It is one of the largest bar nets in the world. There are almost 70 of these St. Patrick dedicated drinking places and they are present in five countries. Of course, here you'll find lakes of beer and whiskey waterfalls and a lot of cheerful people. Don't call them leprechauns, at least when they're sober. This mind-blowing place is on Dachna Street too. This is a launching vehicle. In the center of the city, yes, in the end of Lenin Avenue. Relax, this rocket is not ready for the countdown. It is a full copy of Soyuz R7, primarily made for young spacemen training. Later they put it here like a monument, like another reminder about height aspiration. By the way, rockets of this family are still produced near Samara, it started in the 50s. 
And here's another city on the banks of the Volga River, Taliati. It is 80 kilometers from Samara. The town is famous for its car factory. A lot of vehicles are made here. This year this hotel in Taliati is going to be a base of the national team Switzerland. Spectacular view, just like Swiss nature without mountains. This place looks absolutely calm and quiet. Will it help Shakiri, Grand Jack and company? We'll see. Meanwhile, let's return to Samara. Here is another bar. It's called Zergut. It is on Lenin Avenue 16. You can guess by its name, it's a German-style bar. Here you'll find different rooms for different size companies and, of course, football broadcasts. Menu here is traditionally German, but it doesn't finish with fatty meat. There are offers even for children, so it is comfortable to come here for a family with kids. Another German-style bar in Samara is called Frau Müller. It strictly follows its style. Beer, sausages, beer, different meat, mostly beef, beer, waitresses in traditional clothes, soulful interiors with a lot of wood, and of course, how can I forget about beer? Stop drinking! Volga Quay in Samara is wide and pleasant for sports and long promenades. Also, here you can catch a breathtaking sunset view. And that was Samara City. We forgot about Kansas? Well, there are plenty of them in the Volga River. Try, you'll catch it. But firstly, subscribe to our channel, because we don't leave this great Russian river Volga. Haven't you missed the vocabulary? Here it is. First word – Garchishnik – Synapism. Second word – Krylia – Wings. Third word – Soviet – Council. Fourth word – Dadia – Uncle. And the fifth word – Cosmos – Space. Our next episode will be from the third Russian capital, Kazan. Stay with us.